Hey, what's up, guys? Tom here, uh, talking about my record door day, record door, record door day, all record store day uh, pickups that I got and my experience. It was pretty good overall. I'm kind of mixed on record store day, as well. I'm, I'm sure a lot of a lot of people are. Um, I my store is really cool for the most part. Um, I uh, yeah, the line was a lot longer this year than uh, previous years. I keep hearing that a lot too. And the list didn't really blow me away that much. There was a few things I wanted to get. And I got everything except for one thing, which I ended up getting afterwards. Um, at first it popped up on eBay for around, I saw all the way up to like 200 And the record cost 30 bucks for a 3 LP set. So, originally though, there's no way I was paying that much. I ended up getting it for right about 30 bucks with shipping was like 30 something 34 I think 35 so whatever I don't, I don't mind paying that um yeah so that was the Oliver Hart um aka idea album first time ever on vinyl so I wanted to grab that one of my favorite albums from him I'm um, just a really dope album in general um so I'm waiting on that probably gonna show that in my uh one of my other updates but yeah grab four uh record store day records couple nine record store day records and some free stuff so let's get into it I guess I'll start to record store day stuff first up Sun Ra's uh, what is it called Outer Spaceways yeah, Outer Spaceways Incorporated um, which is actually another album which I forget the actual name of this is different artwork um, this is on like a white purple vinyl nice label which is actually upside down yeah um I'm a fan of Sun Ra overall I like his work so and this wasn't bad this was like 18 bucks I think I don't have the prices on here anymore but I didn't pay over over uh like 20 or 22 I think for anything so uh next up I did pick up the uh Gil Scott Heron nothing new basically just stripped down stripped back versions of previous tracks of his um, XL recordings um, good stuff overall not his best work but definitely uh, worth a pickup in my opinion after that got a couple hip hop releases uh, Outcast first album Southern Playlist of Cadillac Music um, this just came on Black Vinyl if I can get it out yeah on LaFace Records there. Um, yeah, sounds uh, decent enough. Pretty good. Um, no huge issues with it, and I didn't have it. The original goes for uh, stupid money in my opinion, so I had to grab this one. This one's number two, but I didn't get like a high number or anything. I got like 2,000 something, and I think there was 3,000 of them, I believe. I believe, but don't quote me on that. After that, and this is the last one here, the record store day stuff I got. The UN, you in or you out. Uh, this was basically Rock Marciano's uh, previous group before he kind of blew up solo, got well uh, more well known. Um, production out here from Rock Marciano himself, Pete Rock, uh, Mike Raw, which is another. Uh, member of the group, Mahogany, and uh, Large Professor, Large Pro. Comes with two uh, previously unreleased tracks, both produced by Mike Raw. So, uh, pretty dope. This does come on blue vinyl as well. Like it said, said blue vinyl in the description. It is blue, but it does have a uh, like a swirl, white swirl going on, and it does uh, black streaks in parts too. So. Hopefully, right, maybe I could see that. Anyway, so yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool colored. Um, I think this might have been most the most expensive. Either this or Outcast was like twenty two bucks. I want to say, and it did come with a insert and download card. Insert thing here. That. Yeah, I wanted this, this album for a while, so the original copies usually go for no less than 50. I've seen them for. I've never seen a copy for less than 50, I don't believe, so that was worth it. To me, at least. 
So that was it, except for the Oliver Hart, Oliver Hart, which I have coming. Um, I'll show that in a upcoming release. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee. It's still morning time. Happy Sunday, by the way. Happy Easter. Whatever you guys celebrate, 420. I think it's 420 today. So I got some a uh, couple nine record story items here as well. Show those real quick. First up. Gil Scott Herod and Brian Jackson, Winter in America. I've been after this one for a while for a decent price. Um, didn't want to pay the usual whatever it usually goes for. I think it usually goes for 30 bucks in decent condition, if not more. Uh, maybe less, but I think it was about that. Um, gatefold. I got this for five bucks. You guys don't believe five bucks. Just because, see that? Just because uh, it had a slight warp in it. But uh, it plays, plays fine, no problem. Final looks nice. So, uh, Strata East label. Once again, as I've mentioned, I'm collecting that label. This might be the best known album on that label, and definitely a great, great album in general. Um, yeah, so that was a great pickup right there. Just happy to get that for five bucks. So it's kind of like. Everything on that day was 15% off, including this, so it was 5 bucks minus 15%. And then after that, I picked up Mahavishnu Orchestra, Inner Mounting Flame. Where was this from? I think it was from 1971, I believe. I believe it's their first project. Um, this this was a buck. And it's definitely, you know, a buck for a reason. It uh, wasn't in, It's not in the best shape, but red CVS label. It's got some surface scratches and stuff, but it plays fine. I played it. A couple noises here and there, but whatever. I don't even care about that. I didn't pick this album up to, you know, for a buck for its quality, obviously. I would have waited with that. So that's all I really picked up for uh, regular albums. I got some free stuff as well. I guess I could show that. I got it sitting right here. didn't get one vinyl. Uh, this group called Seven Inch of a group called the Medition of the Quay or Med Meditation. I believe it's called Medition of the Quay. Mm. Someone I'm not familiar with. Um, it says promo out of 200, so I guess it was originally numbered or supposed to be numbered, or whatever. Uh, the tracks are Not Me and We Live in a Haunted House. Um, definitely some interesting looking fellows right there in the back. Haven't listened to it yet, so I have no idea what it sounds like, but you got four guys. Uh, David Elliott, guitars, vocals, tambourine. Justin A. Martell on keyboard, vocals, backing vocals. Nick Lombardo, bass and backing vocals. And, oh, and the last guy's featuring Evan Miller. Evan Miller as Mike Jackman, so I guess he's pretending to be someone else on drums and backing vocals. So, I don't know what's up with that. Um... Yeah, and that's the only piece of vinyl I got for free. Um, I wasn't like at the beginning of the line or anything either, so. And the line was pretty chill, actually. Met a bunch of good people. Um, one guy I talked to pretty much the whole time, so we got along pretty pretty good. Um, got the Selecto Hits free CD that you probably get every single year, and I've never been really excited about this. I, this CD kind of sucks, in my opinion. Nothing good on here. But if anyone wants that, I guess let me know. The obligatory free stickers and shit, which I'm not going to show because there's a crap load of them. Um, against Me poster, which I don't give a fuck about. Against Me, if someone wants that. And some other band, Guida, Guida, we I have no idea. Poster, tour poster, I guess, if you want that. It's got a bend in it from where they put it in the bag. Um, oh, I did get a free t shirt from. Uh, like a record label slash uh, local booking agency or whatever around here. Um, Brass City Boss Sounds. Pretty nice t-shirt though, I mean to say. 2XL, so pretty nice. Did like that. That was pretty cool. Um, I guess that's kind of it. Free Goldmine Magazine, which I don't know if this is a thing, but if someone wants that, otherwise I'm going to toss it. I like the bag. The bag, it wasn't like a one of those material bags this year, but just a plastic bag. But I do like the graphic on it, though. Pretty cool. 
pretty dope graphic. And the bag, the free shit came in like a merch records bag, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Some people like seeing bags. Um, yeah, so that's it. I guess that's been waiting, still waiting for my Oliver Hart. Um, overall, pretty good experience. Definitely a lot more people this year than last year. Um, I got, you know, some albums which otherwise I'd be paying 50 bucks a piece for for about half price, so I don't know how much they'd be online for. Um, maybe regular price, maybe not. So I went out, grabbed them. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I'm not going to really trash record store day or anyone that, whatever, keep my other opinions to myself about limited vinyl as it's not really limited anymore but thank you all for watching and um, I'll talk to you soon I'm not sure when I'll be back with another update video a couple weeks or so probably um, yeah I guess that's it thanks guys peace